What's up everybody and welcome back to my channel and welcome to my first segment of Cooking with Cassandra, Back Since Surgery. I'm super excited to get back on camera. I feel 10 times more confident. It's insane. And of course, I don't know if you've noticed, but I did do something new with my hair. So we'll see how this color works out on me. But today I'm gonna make something super easy and super delicious for you guys. We're gonna be making some chicken Alfredo two ways. We're gonna be making it with some tortellini and then we're gonna stuff it into some jumbo shells. Super delicious. Everything is pretty much prepped and ready to go. It's a super easy recipe, but I'll make sure to include all the steps I use for prep. So, let's go ahead and get started. I'm so excited. So first things first, we're gonna throw some chicken tenders into the air fryer. This recipe is super quick and easy. I already have my jumbo shells boiling behind me and they're almost ready, but those can sit out for a while. The thing that's going to be the hardest of the recipe is we're gonna make our own Alfredo sauce. And it's my famous homemade Alfredo sauce, so that's why this recipe is super important. So, I just went ahead and pre-seasoned these little chicken tenders with salt, pepper, garlic powder, onion powder, and parsley. Very simple. We're gonna pop it into the air fryer. 350 for about six to seven minutes, and then we'll see how they look after that. So I know that the kitchen may seem a little funky, um, but this is my new kitchen in my new apartment. I know that it's taken me months to film, but like I said, I could not film anything until my nose was done. But anyways, I just wanted to mention that's why like, I'm in this little corner, but we're going to make it work. I'm going to move pretty fast with making the sauce, so I'm going to go ahead and explain the steps now so that way you don't get lost. First thing we're going to do is we're going to make a roux. If you don't know what a roux is, it's a thickening agent of flour and butter. We're going to start by doing that, then we're going to add in some heavy cream, some freshly grated Parmesan cheese, and a little bit of milk, and that's our sauce. It's super delicious and super creamy. It's going to go really well with the stuck shells. So plop in your butter, it should be softened. About a quarter cup. Make sure your pan is on low heat and just melt the butter down into the pan. The butter is melted all the way. We're gonna add in just a couple tablespoons of flour at a time. You're supposed to make this in a pot, but my pot is taken up by my tortellini, so that's why it looks like it isn't enough, but in my head I know that this is enough to make the perfect amount. Next, we're gonna go ahead and do our heavy whipping cream. Mix out all the clumps from the roux, just in case there are any. I'm gonna go ahead and add in a splash of whole milk. And everybody's favorite, Parmesan cheese, and a lot of it. This is pretty much your base and your flavor. Don't be stingy with the cheese. I mean, get yourself a whole block and just shred till your heart's content. This is supposed to be a really thick and creamy sauce. So the cheese is kind of a base to hold everything together. So don't be shy, use that Parmesan. I definitely recommend making your own sauce. It has no comparison to a jarred sauce. The jarred sauce is just, no, make your own always. And something that you can do is, I like to just save some for the rest of the week because I like to have like little servings of pasta. So what you can do is you make this sauce like once a week, pour it in a jar and just scoop it out whenever you want a serving of it and you just have homemade alfredo sauce at all times. Just a little tip for me. All right, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna add in some chopped broccoli and some freshly chopped garlic into the sauce. Okay, let's taste. I love my own food. If you like rich and Parmesan y, like thicker sauce, make your own for sure. I'm gonna go ahead and grate a little bit of more Parmesan cheese into the sauce, but make sure you save some for the top of the jumbo shells. Okay, so when the sauce is made, go ahead and start preheating your oven. We're gonna turn over the chicken tenders in the air fryer, and then what we're gonna do with the jumbo shells is we're gonna lay them out in a pan. Spoon in the shredded chicken mixed in with the Alfredo sauce, cover that with fresh Parmesan cheese, pop that into the oven, and then we'll start working on our tortellini. All right, uh, one more taste test. Mm. 
I'm taking it back. That is like the perfect amount of Parmesan, the perfect amount of like fresh garlic, perfect amount of like heavy cream mixed with milk. It's not too thick, so it's not like, like starchy. I would say definitely make the roux instead of depending on like cornstarch or something because that roux with the butter and the flour, it just gives such a rich flavor to any sauce you're gonna make. So I'm just gonna go ahead and flip over my chicken tenders. These are probably gonna only need about three minutes max. And then we'll be ready to shred and put it in the Alfredo sauce. So I'm gonna go ahead and chop and shred my chicken really fine. You want them to be pretty small pieces just because the noodles like shells themselves they're pretty delicate, so you don't want pieces of chicken like puncturing and ripping all of your noodles. So make sure that your chicken is just really small pieces. So I'm just gonna chop and shred up my chicken really fine. You want the pieces of chicken to be very small, just because the noodles themselves, they're pretty weak, and when we put everything in there, you don't want the noodles to be splitting from big chunks of chicken, so. So just go ahead and just drop in handfuls of shredded chicken. Go ahead and mix that in. Oh yeah, okay, so you see how thick that is? How it's just chicken and broccoli coated in sauce? That's what you want. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put this sauce mixture into a plastic baggie, then we're gonna stuff the noodles that way because the noodles are like a hollow tube. I'll show you what they look like and you'll know what I mean in just a second, but I'm just trying to explain the steps we're about to do in case I don't say anything and you get lost. So we're going to stuff this into a plastic bag, line up the noodles in a little pan, shove the <laughs> shove. We're going to put the sauce into the noodles, grate some more Parmesan cheese on top and then stick it in the oven and then we'll work on our tortellini. So some of the noodles didn't really make it out alive, they ripped, but that's okay. We're going to make it work because it's the flavor that counts and not the presentation. If we've learned two things on my channel, we don't measure and we don't do presentation, which we will, we'll work on it. But right now, we're just going to stuff the noodles that made it out alive. So plastic bag hack, cut off probably a bigger thing of the corner. Cut off a bigger section of the corner so that way the chicken and broccoli makes its way out. I lined up the noodles in the pan that made it and insert your bag and just like squeeze and stuff. Squeeze and stuff. Just like that. Make sure it's poking out of the end a little bit like that. There you go, that's your first stuffed shell. Perfect! Oh my god, this is only the second time I've done this. Okay, I'm very excited. So they should look like this. I went ahead and just threw some of the extra chicken on top of some of them to make them more full. So at this point, all we're gonna do is grate up our Parmesan cheese all over the top, stick it in the oven while we boil our tortellini, then we'll broil it to give it the brown color. So make it a pretty thick layer of Parmesan cheese. We're gonna pop this into the oven for about five minutes, then stick it in the broiler for maybe two to three. So we're gonna melt the cheese on top of the jumbo shells in the oven, and like I said, we're gonna throw them in the broiler. We're gonna boil our tortellini for five minutes until most of them float. And then obviously all you have to do with the tortellini is just mix it into your leftover sauce but I wanted to give all of you a variety of ways to try my Alfredo. If you're looking for a keto option, I would definitely recommend boiling some cauliflower stocks and using cauliflower instead of noodles or pasta. So we're gonna pop our jumbo shells into the broiler for maybe two to three minutes. You have to keep your eye on it so the cheese does not burn. I'm scared. So let's have a taste test, and then like usual, we do the outro. Mm. Mm. 
I'm gonna try to use my words. That fresh garlic, really, the way that the sauce simmered and that fresh garlic basically just dissolved into the sauce, it's so amazing. It has this perfect balance between Parmesan, cream, and garlic, which is exactly my type of sauce. And especially broiling it with a layer of Parmesan cheese, it gives it this really crunchy, crackable layer to just dive into that squishy center of the noodle. It's amazing. I definitely recommend making this recipe, and like I said, make sure you make your own sauce as often as you can. I'll try to teach you guys how to make my own mac and cheese sauce. That one is exquisite. But for now, I'm going to leave you at this. I'm going to go take this and enjoy it. I really hope you enjoyed this video. It means the world to me that you guys are watching me and watching my journey. Thank you so much to all the people who watched my rhinoplasty vlog. Hopefully you're here because of that. Make sure to hit that notifications bell button so you know when I upload. Give my video a thumbs up because it really does brighten my day and puts a smile on my face. And I will definitely see you in the next one.